It's a pretty special morning, folks. Cornell with YouTube Fishing Vids. I'm up in the mountains of Maryland, excited as I can be because I just threw my first cast with a jerk bait. I'm literally right at the boat ramp. I got a really great rocky point with an unbelievably low lake. It's been drawn down for fall and it's about 64 degree water temp and it's about 50, barely 50 degrees this morning. It's chilly. The leaves are changing. There's a little mist over the mountains right in front of me and I'm excited to get my first bite of the day. Let's see if we can lock into our first smallmouth, possible largemouth, possible walleye. There's all kinds of species in this lake and I'm excited to see what bites. So thanks for joining me. First fish, first cast. <laughs> Unbelievable guys, that's the very first cast of the day and it feels like a nice one, unreal. That's the way it's gonna be today. I knew if I came up here, I'd be in for a, a treat. The fishing is absolutely awesome up here. It's a little guy, but that's just one heck of a way to start the day. To sign in with you guys and to catch a fish on the very first cast. Let's get at it. All right, let's show off the first weapon of the day. It's what I threw all season, last season, quite a bit actually. The Jackall Rerange 110. That's the just standard diver. That's a secret shad. And I got it on 12 pound test Seaguar Invisex fluorocarbon and the new, for me, the new uh, rod in my hand here is the Shimano X Bride. Uh, you got to thank the guys at Tactical Bassin for putting out incredible info out there. And they prop this rod up like I've never seen any proper, any proper rod up before. So for a jerk bait, the X Bride, it's the six foot 10, it's just their medium action. And they were right, <laughs> they were right. This thing is absolutely incredible, incredibly light. That was literally the first cast I've ever thrown with it. And I caught a fish on it. That's pretty dang impressive, isn't it? And uh, I got the Lose uh, Speed Spool Light Team, Speed Spool something or other light, Teams Lose Light uh, bait casting reel. Here's set up, like I said, with that 12 pound test. And it's a lightweight, responsive, absolutely awesome setup. Again, that was the very first cast ever throwing this rod and reel combo. And left hand retrieve, guys. Left hand retrieve, because that thumb is still brutal. I do have to have surgery on it. I literally can't bend it, so I've got it locked up. And now with a left hand retrieve reel, I'm gonna be working my right arm here for pretty much everything I've got tied on today. So let's get at it, see if we can find number two. The tranquility of the morning out here is it's unspeakable. It's so calm right now. and so pristine and so unbelievably beautiful. The sun's just starting to break out, but it's almost too calm. It's almost too calm for the jerk bait. Uh, I don't think it's a, uh, I don't think it's a bad thing that I caught the first fish on the first cast. That's bad luck for some people, but it's just, it's just a little bit less than what I thought it might be after that first catch. Moving around, hit a few spots, haven't had another bite. Uh, but this is drop shot conditions. You know, I'm gonna look for some fish. If I see some fish down deep and they're not coming up for this jerk bait, I'm gonna go down to them. But I'm gonna throw this jerk bait for just a little bit more. I'm gonna definitely find the most wind that I can find, but there's not much to be had. So we gotta play the conditions and uh, the cards that are dealt. So let's keep just chucking a winder for a little bit with this morning air and see if the jerk bait ends up finding one or two. And then we'll do what we gotta do to put some in the boat. Okay, my travels and in my efforts to find fish, I found some. Take a look at that, guys. Look at that little spaghetti routine. They're suspended down at about 16 to 20 feet of water. I'm sitting in 34. And I got the little cast master. This is what I always carry out. There's trout out here. That could be a school of trout. Who knows what the heck it is. Could be a bunch of, could be a bunch of bass, but let's drop this little eighth ounce cast master down there into this school and see what the heck they are. Because if anything's gonna catch them, there's a tiny little spoon and it's always entertaining to do a little fishing with a cast master and pull up whatever's down there. It's follow, I'm watching them follow it down there. There we go. Whatever's down there, find one finely bit. Took a minute. Let's see what we got. I'm very curious. It's always fun to see what's down 35 feet. Oh my gosh, is that possible? Yeah, guys. Could be a great big old school of bluegill. <laughs> so you never know what you're gonna see and you never know what you're gonna pull up. And if there it goes, it's in the back of the kayak right now. But there you go, got myself a little bluegill. That's what those are. So we learned something today. So we're gonna keep on rolling and try and find uh, the smallmouth. But that was fun. That was really cool to do a little video and fishing for a nice little bluegill. Let me get him out of the kayak and get back to fishing. Oh my goodness, guys, that is absolutely insane. I'm bringing in a drop shot. 
I'm bringing in a drop shot and a big old rainbow trout comes up and eats the heck out of it. I just saw some fish jumping and this gorgeous rainbow trout just came up and snatched my drop shot on the way up. It must have been looking at it. Let's see if I can just land this thing. Unreal, right? <laughs> Unreal. So that's, uh, I think I got the footage of a little bluegill I caught just throwing a cast master down to it. But how cool is this? Saw some activity throughout to where I saw a fish jump and it was obviously a big old rainbow trout. And there was more with this guy. So he came up and grabbed it, saw me eat it. Let's just see if I can land this thing. He's hooked perfectly. A little itty bitty tiny little hook. Oh man, that's what you get for not bringing a net, right? I'm rarely bringing nets because I'm usually just lipping my bass that I'm catching. Oh, I'm gonna let him go. That's okay, I didn't expect to catch any trout. I actually did expect to catch some trout, but didn't 100% plan to keep any, and I certainly didn't expect to catch one on a drop shot. So that's pretty cool though. Not a big deal that I didn't land it. Guys, I think I got my first drop shot fish, and I apologize for the sun being in your eyes, but I got the autopilot engaged, and it looks like a decent fish, and I'm so happy to have him. It was, it was a worrisome moment there for a minute with the, uh, the whole jerk bait game but I knew the drop shot would pull it off open hook real itty bitty hook same thing I just hooked a nice little trout on but I went to a dream shot a little purplish pink dream shot have these a while I hadn't put them on in a while and man I am so happy this guy bit so let's see if we can get this one landed unlike that trout that I had no handle on and smallmouth in the house <laughs> there we go drop shot fish let me turn this boat around give me a second and there we go, little dream shot. Beautiful little small mouth, itty bitty tiny little hook. Probably a number four little hook is what I decided to go with as light as I could to get as finesse as I could. Six pound test. There it is, first uh, small mouth on a drop shot. Two, so two small mouth. Hopefully I'll be able to show you footage of a little bluegill, a trout, and uh, the game is on. So I'm gonna play the drop shot game for a little while, see how many we can pull off. Man, they're deep guys. They're deep, I went way down. <laughs> I'm not joking, I'm talking 35 feet. And got fish number two, so let me hit the spot lock real quick. I just started a little itty bitty drift. I'm gonna put myself right here because I think I know where they're at now. And feels like a decent fish. He was way down there, so at first it didn't feel too strong, but now it's giving me some, giving me a little bit of a fight. How cool is this? Yeah, another nice small mouth. That's a uh, back-to-back cast. I repositioned throughout to the same spot found another one how awesome is this okay so now we got something figured out the jerk bait bite was not happening but a strike king dream shot got it going on little guy but i'll take him every time every single time there it is going back all right let's try that again it takes a it takes a bit for it to get back down there that's a quarter ounce of Quarter ounce of lead, little gremlin split shot pinch on weight that I'm using for my drop shot. And it's on its way down. Probably gonna go down into about 45 feet of water and bring it up the slope to about where the fish are biting, which is in about 30 to 35 feet of water. Crazy, still going down, way down. Keep on going. All right, we're on bottom. Let's see what happens. There we go, guys. Amazing, on the fall. First first cast on this spot, I actually got snagged up, got it off, turned around and cast, and this is, uh, I think, the biggest fish of the day. Amazing, so I think I've got a little, a little something, something figured out when it comes to the water depth, where they're at, at least here. <laughs> this is a good fish, let's see if I can keep him down. He's coming up, stay down, stay down, he's a good one. Stay down, oh, stay down. That's an awesome fish right there, guys. So, I think I got this one pegged well. Because he hasn't come off with the first jump. This is a good fish. Very, very nice fish. Fun, fun stuff. Let's get down here. Sweet. Awesome. This feels great. He is so well buttoned right in the nose. He's not going anywhere. That white belly on him. Beautiful, beautiful smallmouth. Big fat belly on him. Now that's the way we want him hooked. Right there, right there in the nose. Perfect. Well, so much for that dream shot. <laughs> Time to find another bait. I only have a few more of those left, but I got plenty of other things that I'm sure they'll eat. It's a 
beautiful smolly going back. I've got so many drop shot baits in my arsenal. It's almost ridiculous. This is to the point where I think to myself, you know, I'll be gone from this world and someone's going to benefit from all the baits that I've got just sitting around the house. So what I did is I brought a whole bunch of random little baits. I mean, I, this is just a who knows what cool looking little bait though. But I'm going to fish it. I'm going to fish some of these darn baits. I had four dream shots left in that bag in that pink color. I've already used all of them. So now I'm just going to reach for all kinds of random little things. This is a little green pumpkinish. Obviously a great looking drop shot bait. I'm just going to use it. I'm just going to use it because these fish are aggressive and I know where they are. So let's just keep showing them something different and go through some of these baits I might never use unless I use them. So here we go. There we go. Just a gentle steady deliberate pull guys I went back to the dream shot I only have three left in that little uh, morning dawn type color stay down buddy stay down oh it's another nice one guys so uh, I was playing with this random bait right here this little guy didn't get it done in that kind of green pumpkinish brown whatever but boy you put that pretty in pink on and look what happens only second cast in another really really nice nice small mouth so let's see if I can land this one Beautiful. Again, perfectly hooked, and look at this. <laughs> I barely saved it, so I got another another shot there, at least with that one. I got other stuff in pink. I got uh, Z-Man trick shots in the morning dawn. I got some four-inch morning dawn robo worms, six-inch robo worms. I'll be okay. I'll be okay, and I'll be even better if I land you. <laughs> there he is. And again, another perfectly positioned. That's a little bit. A little bit risky hook job right there. You can see that that's just in the hard part of that skin. He wasn't going anywhere, but right where it needs to be. Beautiful, going back. There we go, finally. <laughs> Got myself another fish on a drop shot. Let's see what it is. It feels pretty small. There's a lot of rock bass and all kinds of stuff swimming around in this lake. And this one feels really little. And let me see if I called that. <laughs> Did I call that or what? I had a feeling fishing these rocks I'd come up with. I guess that's the fourth species of the day. Bluegill, rainbow trout, bunch of nice little smallmouth. Now that itty bitty little rock bass. So I'm getting out of here. I know I'm going to be dealing with a bunch of little rock bass if I sit right here. And there's the change up. I went from the dream shot and a couple of the little drop shot baits to the four and a half inch morning dawn uh, robo worm. So let's go ahead and run around a little bit more the jerk bait bite is just not happening in the afternoon just even with the wind picking up and everything else it's just not going on so i'm gonna be playing the finesse game for a little bit let's see if we can find some more that's amazing guys if that's a fish because if that's a fish which i think it is on the drop that's in almost 55 feet of water i don't know how big he is but hopefully he's a good one that far out yep i got myself a fish in 50 plus feet of water guys on a drop shot and he's decent and that's where they're at it's really been a rough rough afternoon and i just threw to what i found on my side scan which is a bunch of rocks just some big old rocks down there and big 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 huge shout out to brent brent i just met you and my man on a kayak just a little while back, uh, we chatted it up. I, I saw a sad moment when he lost about a two and a half, three pounder. And uh, I went over, we started chatting a little bit. And he hooked me up with a bait, two baits as a matter of fact. A really sweet little mini mega bass little uh, swim bait. He said he was catching on. One of those little babies right there. I forgot the name of it, but it's a mega bass. And I am fishing with the other bait he gave me, which was the Max Scent Berkeley uh, flatworm. I couldn't find any of them. But he had one, he hooked me up, gave it to me, and there's a fish I caught on it. Nice dark one, a good one, way out deep and amazing. It's literally like the first cast I threw with it. So there's the, uh, the Max Scent a la Brent. Brent, thank you very much. Big shout out to you, buddy, for hooking me up with that bait because it caught me a bass. And we're going to go ahead and put that one back. I'm going to throw it right back into that pile of rocks that I saw on my side skin and see if there's more out there. That right there. That right there is the hot ticket item, the Berkeley Max Scent Flatworm. It's the only one I got now, thanks to Brent, like I said. Brent, like I said, but uh, yeah, I couldn't find these things anywhere. They're pretty durable. They smell great to those bass, and this color is pretty awesome. I, I don't know what color it is. It's kind of like a green pumpkin party something or other. But yeah, right through the nose. 
And right back into 50 plus feet of water on some rocks. Crazy. He ate it on the drop. Let's see if it happens again. Gosh, guys, I had a feeling. I had a feeling there was going to be one right here. And I got him. I think I got my rod tip twisted. But I think we're good. I think we're good. Nope, we got him. Another fish on the flatworm, and it feels like a big one. It feels like a real big one on the point. This might be the fish of the day right here, guys. I got a, I got a few hours left. So let's see what we got. Let's keep him down, do our best to, oh yeah, he's a good one. Got off, because he ate it on the fall. He ate, it, he ate it on the fall, and I didn't even know he was there. That's how that happens. It happens all the time. It's so easy to lose him that way. When you pick up your line, and all of a sudden it's heavy. So I gotta get back down there. That was a first cast of that spot. And there's gotta be another one there. There's just gotta be. So let's go ahead and put it back in there. And let's not cry over spilt milk. Just be happy we hooked them. And we'll go get another one. Watch that line again. It's real tricky. It hits that bottom man and that's all she wrote. There we go, we're on bottom. Let's see what happens. Again, another really deep fish, probably 30 plus right there. It's a real steep drop off on this point. That's two fish, Brent, on your flatworm. I appreciate it, buddy. That's a good little bait. I'm going to have to try and get hold of some. It's a hot ticket item, hard to come by, but it's worked now for two nice bites oh there we go there we go back to back cast guys back to back cast nothing close to the size of the last one absolute dink unbelievable and let's not let him take that flatworm that's the big deal so that's two back to back casts we go from a nice nice fish to an itty bitty dinky dinky fish but that means there's more down there there's a little flatworm right in his mouth. He got it pretty deep, too. All right, let's get the little pliers and get that out and get out and hit another one. Do we have one? Do we have one? If we do, it's tiny. Let's see. Yep, it's tiny. My goodness, is it small. Whoa, baby dinks. <laughs> I'm so worried these guys are going to take my flatworm since it's my only one. So I'm gonna have to throw into a little different spot since I'm catching babies. Back it goes. There we go, right below the boat. And man, did I see him too. That was awesome. That was very, very cool. Very cool stuff, guys. Let's see if he's of any size. He's swimming up. Yeah, he's got some pull to him. Let's see what's going on here. Real gentle with him. So can keep this guy on for once. Nothing huge, decent. Better than those dinks, so mama was off to the left a little bit. Just cast him to the right. Oh, and there goes my flat worm. All right, well, I caught myself a few fish with that. I got other things to play with. This guy's not going anywhere. Let's just do that real fast. And there he is. It's another beauty. Nothing huge so far today. Got a few good ones. Lost a couple good ones, but at least the numbers there. Nothing crazy like it's going to be. Boy, when these water temperatures get below 60, it's going to get nuts out here. That fish hit it on the fall. I knew it because I saw my line was stopping. I knew I threw into 35 feet of water. So there's no way, no way that had gone down all the way. So I lifted up and there he was. I lost a big one a minute ago. This is a decent little fish, just something to bring in. But with that said, I know I'm in a good spot here by the dam. There's definitely some bigger fish here. He's decent. Switched up to a little dream shot. That's a decent little fish down here by the dam. I'm gonna go ahead and keep throwing, uh, throwing deep, guys, because these fish are definitely down there. I'm lucky to get them. There he is, nice and dark. All right, let me get him unhooked. Get another one. All right, I made it back to the point where I lost a good one, caught a couple dinks, and I'm going to do my best to find myself a sign-out fish. It's been an absolutely awesome day up here in the mountains of Maryland. Thank goodness I had the drop shot equipment with me because the jerk bait bite that I was so hoping for did not happen. It will be happening. It's coming. We just need these water temperatures to drop just a touch. 
And when that happens, all heck's gonna break loose. So for now, we're gonna just be happy that we have a drop shot in hand and that it got a few nice fish. Good numbers today, just nothing huge, but I'm happy to lock into some smallies because that's what I was up here for. So we're gonna get one more fish, we hope, and we're gonna call it. Uh-oh, there we go, got me a fish. Let's see what we got. This is gonna be it, guys. This is our sign out fish right here. I had a feeling I'd be able to lock into one more right here. It feels pretty decent, it's just swimming around. I put a good hook in him. I just hope he stays down enough for me to show it to you. Decent little fish to call tonight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that all day long. Good fish, guys. Been an absolutely awesome day right here. <laughs> and there goes my dream shot figures. Come on in here. There it is, guys. One more beautiful mountain Maryland smallmouth to call it a night. I am one happy camper. Let's get him there and say, folks, as always, I appreciate you joining me. As always, I appreciate you subscribing. And until we meet again, over and out.